Steve, you've got these machines in stock at the moment, and I know there's a special offer on this particular model, but tell us what the model is. This is a WT150, so probably what Nakamura is most famous for is the twin spindle, twin turret configuration. Now, when you say twin turret and twin spindle, you've got a couple of parts in your hand that we'll look at. Is this typically of what this sort of machine can make? Yeah, so the, what, part one here is of what we have is an endoscope. Um, again, the beauty of this configuration is machine is basically you get the second art for free. Um, so you have a, a, an upper turret and a lower turret and two, two spindles. So as an engineer watching this, you would think, you know, what, what, why this type of machine? Do you have to be working in a production environment or is it just about complex parts? Both, really. Um, I mean, Nakamura pride themselves on a, on a machine built for production. Um, so everything from the raw material coming in to the finished part being handled and taken out. Um, with the smart X control, we've got production software built in so the customer can see exactly the output what he's getting from the machine all the way through to complex parts and the, the, the beauty of the controller well assisting them with that. Now we looked at these parts and we'll have a look at the second one actually now because this is very impressive. Is this the sort of size of component that you do on this machine? This is just a typical example. Um, basically this is, a, this is a show piece. So again we approach this with angle heads um, and obviously deburring tools to get in and, and remove all the burrs. And that's done in one hit? One hit, yes. And with that sort of part, I mean, if you were doing that without this type of machine, you'd have to put it through lots of different machining processes, wouldn't you? Well, exactly that, yeah. Again, from the, from the two turrets with Y-axis as well, we can double up on our tools. Um, so basically, this, this machine um, is, 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 is built as an animal for production. Okay, so let's conclude on the, on the spec of the machine. What is the bar capacity? How many tool stations have you got? Just give us uh, a flavour of those. Okay, so we've got 65 mil through the, through the spindle bore, 52 on the sub, um, twin spindle, twin turret, um, and basically with a 48 tool post all together. So you've got 40, although you've got 24 stations of the turret, you've got two point indexing on the turrets. Exactly that, yeah. So we've got raw, raw material in through, let's say, a bar feed then. Uh, we have a parts catcher there that's going to take care of the remnant from the main spindle. And in, inside here, we have a parts gripper that is going to take the finished part along a conveyor. For the, uh, on the sub spindle. And the beauty of this facility you've got here at Wellsbourne is you carry these machines, as we've already said, in stock. You bring them in readily available so they can hit the deck within, what, a few days? Yeah, exactly that. I mean, with ETG, we don't pride ourselves just on the machine, but it's the backup of support. So basically, the operations facility we have here is probably going to be built around the, around the turnkey environment. And the way the business is geared, you bring lots of different machines in, but at the moment you're bringing these in, a, in, in as a quantity because you believe that the market has a demand for more complex machining processes. Yeah, we have experience there. We, we, we know what the market needs and we're currently delivering. Good stuff. Thanks, Steve. Cheers, Paul.